Indications, Results, and Clinical Impact of Endoscopic Ultrasound EUS Guided Sampling in Gastroenterology, European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ESGE, Clinical Guideline, updated January 2017. Introduction. The Clinical Guideline on Endoscopic Ultrasound, EUS, Guided Sampling, published in 2011 by the European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ESGE, described the role of this technique in patient management and made recommendations on circumstances that warrant its use. New evidence that has become available since then is discussed in the present update and new recommendations are issued. This guideline is an official statement of the European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ESGE. It addresses the indications, results, and clinical impact of endoscopic ultrasound, EUS, guided sampling in gastroenterology. A separate technical guideline describes the general technique of EUS guided sampling, particular techniques to maximize the diagnostic yield depending on the nature of the target lesion, and sample processing. The target readership for the clinical guideline mostly includes gastroenterologists, oncologists, internists, and surgeons, while the technical guideline should be most useful to endoscopists who perform EUS guided sampling. Main recommendations. For pancreatic solid lesions, ESGE recommends performing endoscopic ultrasound, EUS guided sampling, as first line procedure when a pathological diagnosis is required. Alternatively, percutaneous sampling may be considered in metastatic disease. Strong recommendation, moderate quality evidence. In the case of negative or inconclusive results and a high degree of suspicion of malignant disease, ESGE suggests reevaluating the pathology slides, repeating EUS guided sampling or surgery. Weak recommendation, low quality evidence. In patients with chronic pancreatitis associated with a pancreatic mass, EUS guided sampling results that do not confirm cancer should be interpreted with caution. Strong recommendation, low quality evidence. For pancreatic cystic lesions, PCLs, ESGE recommends EUS guided sampling for biochemical analyses plus cytopathological examination if a precise diagnosis may change patient management, except for lesions less than or equal to 10 millimeters in diameter with no high risk stigmata. If the volume of PCL aspirate is small, it is recommended that carcinoembryonic antigen, CEA, level determination be done as the first analysis. Strong recommendation, low quality evidence. For esophageal cancer, ESGE suggests performing EUS guided sampling for the assessment of regional lymph nodes, LNs, in T1 and, depending on local treatment policy, T2, adenocarcinoma, and of lesions suspicious for metastasis such as distant LNs, left liver lobe lesions, and suspected peritoneal carcinomatosis. Weak recommendation, low quality evidence. For lymphadenopathy of unknown origin, ESGE recommends performing EUS guided or alternatively endobronchial ultrasound, EBUS guided, sampling if the pathological result is likely to affect patient management and no superficial lymphadenopathy is easily accessible. Strong recommendation, moderate quality evidence. In the case of solid liver masses suspicious for metastasis, ESGE suggests performing EUS guided sampling if the pathological result is likely to affect patient management and 1. The lesion is poorly accessible or not detected at percutaneous imaging or 2. A sample obtained via the percutaneous route repeatedly yielded an inconclusive result. Weak recommendation, low quality evidence.